right guys, California Phantom here. I'm with the X-Dynamics Evolve drone. I've flown this drone for a month now and I'm here to provide you with the ultimate review. Show like things happening at once Remind everyone of what's going on And with every shot show a little improvement To show it all would take too long That's called a montage Girl, we want a montage I have to say, when I first got this drone, I was instantly in love. It was like love at first sight. The solid carbon fiber body, the oversized motors, the spiel about this drone being completely done in-house, I was wowed. You were the chosen one. Bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness. One thing I could say with this drone and looking at it, getting it real close, is it's over-engineered. It's very, very heavy. The carbon fiber definitely adds the cost in that $2,500 price point. I can't stress to you enough how amazing the hardware on this drone is, but unfortunately, that's where it stops. It's controller with its dual screen layout. It allows you to monitor the airspace in real time while you fly. What's not to love about that? The thousand nit screen, you can see the video cut right through the sunlight. You don't need any hood. You don't need any visor. The screen is crisp. It's easy. It's simple to watch. It's removable battery pack. So when the battery gets old, you simply throw it out. You replace it. You don't have to send that entire controller in. I'm looking at you, DJI. First things first, the Evolve claims to be able to fly a distance of approximately one mile, but in real world tests, I couldn't get it more than seven or 800 yards. The X-Dynamics Evolve drone simply goes from a perfect video feed to darkness. Then you have the LiDAR system and it. it's something we see in autonomous vehicles. It's very accurate. I think it's a lot more accurate than your typical vision position sensors, but unfortunately, it has a little bit of a problem. Where are you going? I just got to know you. Even with the LiDAR system, as accurate as this 3D sensing technology is, it's still not working with the Evolve. So I'm sure a lot of these things can be addressed with firmware releases and software updates, but the fact of the matter is the Evolve is not ready for prime time. At a price point of $2,499 that only includes one battery, I think our money can be best spent elsewhere. Something that I didn't want to have to admit, I wanted to love the drone. I absolutely think it's one of the most attractive drones to come to market to date. But unfortunately, and this goes out to you, the X-Dynamics team, there's a lot left to be worked on. When shooting photos or video in automatic mode, there's no readout of the ISO shutter speed or any other critical information until you put it into manual. Anybody who's a photographer or videographer or somebody that's not as necessarily experienced definitely wants those readout values in automatic mode so they can quickly and easily adjust it in the manual mode. So while I love this guy's carbon fiber body, maybe the cost in creating a solid carbon fiber body was a little bit too expensive, which is what played the role in the $2,400.99 price point. This drone definitely falls in line between a Phantom and an Inspire, and I love the fact that you can just simply disconnect the camera, attach a thermal, attach a larger camera, this camera can grow with you. This drone can grow with you. It's modular. So you're not investing $2,500 in just this drone. You're investing $2,500 in the future of this drone. But having said that, I think the X-Dynamics crew has to address the main thing, and that is the range on this thing, and that is the software on this thing. It's just not ready for prime time. The distance is just not acceptable. If you get in any congested areas, you're just gonna drop signal. You're not gonna be happy with this drone. So I've gotten to use this drone for over a month. I've shot fantastic photos of it during my 107 shoots. A lot of my clients were very happy to see this drone. The 107 professional look definitely plays a part with this drone as it looks a lot more professional than showing up with a Mavic 2. But unfortunately at this point, the Mavic 2 just produces better video better picture it doesn't have all the problems that this drone currently has so this goes out to the x dynamics crew i love your drone i love the potential it has one of the most potential rich drones i've seen in a long time so i'm the poster child of saying we need more diversity in the drone space i just got done paying 50 dollars for a usb type c to stereo jack for my osmo pocket from dji wait a minute disappointed 
something that can be found on Amazon for three dollars, five dollars. I'm paid fifty dollars, and I paid fifty dollars because DJI is lonely at the top. They have no other competition. The Autel company is creeping up, but there's so little diversity when it comes to drones in this drone space and companies that we we really need a, co a company like X Dynamics to succeed. So while I can't recommend this drone right now. They're doing tremendous things in this drone space, and it's a company to watch out for. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts, and we'll see you on the next adventure.